Okay, Rick, looks like she's ready to go. You guys ready? All right. Watch in five, four, three, two, one. Plunging zero to 55 miles an hour in under three seconds. Three Whoa. Gs turning up the hill, weightless over the top. High Gs at the bottom of each dip. How you feeling, Dad? Lateral Gs. That's the G. vomit. Are you feeling the force? You feeling the force? Reverse. Left turn. Wow, I can see the G force is really racking up here, Rich. Okay, we're coming up on the most exciting part of the ride, the loop. A loop. Ready for the loop, Jen? Whoa! Wow, I really see those G forces. Look at that big red spike there. How'd you do? Wow. How do you feel? Here comes the loop. Whoa! Now, when you stop upside down, you'll see that she's still experiencing two Gs pushing her down into the seat. Are you feeling pushed into the seat? I'm feeling something. All right. <laughs> Sometimes the, the basic tools can be used to create entirely new attractions. Imagine your Mark Sumner had an idea for sending 100 people at a time on a simulated hang glider ride. And he used his erector set to work out how that was going to work. And the result was one of the best attractions in Disney history, Soren. Hey, that's Soren over California. Yes, it is. Awesome. So basically, with a little bit of creativity, some scientific knowledge, and, uh, and the willingness to steal toys from small children, anyone can come up with a cool idea? Exactly. What happens to your breath when you breathe on a cold day? That's right. Uh, it actually it shows up as fog. So what's really happening is it turns out there's actually a little bit of water in the air that we breathe, and it's, it's in the form of vapor. And when it gets really cold, that water vapor freezes and turns into little tiny ice crystals, and that's what shows up as fog. So at Disney, we sort of took that knowledge, and we used that to create really large amounts of fog for our various shows and attractions. But in our case, we're actually using something that's much, much colder than a winter's day. In our case, we're using liquid nitrogen. Whoa! Liquid nitrogen. Wow. Check this out. Yeah. This is awesome. So this uses liquid nitrogen. It says, how cold is actually liquid nitrogen? Uh, a little less than negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, yeah, negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit. That's actually two and a half times the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth. Yikes. That is pretty frosty. Wow. Which is, there we go. Wow, all right. Hey, everybody. Everybody, let's give her some help here. On your feet. Go, Mom, go, Mom. Go, Mom, go, Mom, go. Hi, Rick. So are you ready to be our elephant family for today? Okay. All right, well, let's get them in this well, thing. Here's Huddle together. All right, here we're going to go. Put this around you. Can you all snuggle in there? Great. Now, here's the thing that we're going to have you do. You're going to go out into the streets of New York, and we're going to be tracking your adventure. Using our GPS technology, eh? So that we're going to be able to track them to wherever they're going. Oh, looks like we're getting our first signal right here. Now, how cool is this? They just kind of zoomed in, and where are they? They well, are right here. We're st they're still at the Skirball Center. They haven't gotten very far yet, and we'll check in with them in a little bit. 